What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K. And I'm uh, Matt. And today we have a brand new Japanese booster box for you guys. Thunderclap Spark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Thunderclap Spark is the name of this set for Japanese. This is SM7A featuring Zera Aura. Now, of course, as usual, we get our Japanese uh, products, Japanese TCG products from Mecha Japan. So make sure you guys check them out in the link in the description down below. There's also a coupon code you guys can use to save some money. So make sure you guys order through them. Uh, it's great, great savings. Not to mention they've got good shipping as well. So uh, definitely highly recommend Mecha-Japan.com for everything Japanese Pokemon TCG. So make sure you guys check them out. All right, so let's take a look at this box. Obviously, as I said, it does feature Zera Aura. Zera Aura GX is in this box, which is really interesting that we're getting him as a card, or getting it as a card, uh, before we even see it in the video game. I mean, it's not unheard of, but it is rare. I mean, I think we do have him as a downloadable thing already in the video game. I don't think so, do we? I think it just happened like very recently, though. I don't even think I've heard anything about that. But then again, I haven't been keeping up with the video game stuff. So there's Victini, Litleo, and Tapu Koko. I guess they've abandoned the uh, the the fierce looking Pokemon on the booster box. Uh, we also have Cubchu, we've got Slugma, and we have uh, Electabuzz yeah, as well. The first Pokemon were scaring away too many buyers. Yeah, could be. Who knows? That Turtwig, man. That was a nightmare. Ah, I know. That Turtwig was definitely scary. So as I said, SM7A with Zara Aura. So. There's actually a lot of good things in this set, too. Yeah, I mean, considering it's not that the set itself is amazing, it's just that because of rotation, there's a lot of really helpful things in here. Yeah, that's gonna be the same with Celestial Storm too when that releases. Like, it's not gonna be like a huge thing right now, but once rotation happens, it will. Be. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. You know, I, I actually saw a talk about that on um, one of the Facebook groups, uh, Verbank specifically, saying that. Uh, you know, oh, Celestial Storm and uh, Thundercloud Spark are going to be amazing sets. Well, it's not that they're amazing sets. They're just amazing for the time frame that we're getting them in, is what it comes down to. So, um, yeah, let's see. I'm going to take the left side of the box. Do you want to go first or second? I'll go first. Okay, if you're going to go first, then let me open up this little pack here. This, of course, is another one of these uh, promo packs that come with the box. And I'm no, not sure. America. Yeah, we don't get these in the United States, but we might get the promo cards eventually. This symbol looks a little different though, so I'm not actually sure what you get in this one. Last time it was the one that we were looking for the shiny Poi Uh This card is an energy card. Are you serious? Are you serious? There's what? an energy card. An energy card. Oh, that is disgusting. What the heck? Um. I, I could vomit right now. Okay. Well. All right, then. I'm just going to pretend we didn't see that. And let's move on. <laughs> so go ahead and take your side of the box here. Yep. Hoping to pull that full art secret rare of whatever. Yeah, we should get a secret. It seems like all the Japanese booster boxes have some form of secret rare, whether they be full arts to us, or they be the rainbow rares or the secret rare items. Yep. All right, so we're going to start off here with a Lapras. That has an interesting ability, by the way. It's like a budget Gallade. Look at the top two cards of your deck, put them back in any order. Oh, wow. All right, so we've got a Brione. Um, that is Mix Herb. Mix Herb? Yep. You can play one or two of them. Play one, remove a special condition from your active. If you play two, remove all special conditions and heal 90. Oh, hey, kind of like a gold potion. Yeah. We got ourselves a Skidoo, and we got an Electivire. With an attack that does 190 damage. Electivire, huh? But I'm pretty sure you have to discard three of your electric energy, if I'm not mistaken. Discard three. That's right. High voltage knuckle. Yep. I figured as such. So the actual Zorora GX card in this set, too, from what I remember, is actually not terrible. Let me see if I can find it again. All yeah, right. no, it is. All right, so we got... Uh, well, I got past the trainers again. That is Charge... Charge something, I think? Uh, I don't know, electric power, electric power. Does 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon when it's attached to one of your lightning Pokemon. Oh, wow, so it's like a choice band, but better. There's no restriction on what kind of Pokemon. Yep, it can hit GX, EX, or anything else. Dang! So we got ourselves on low and dig trio. Free attack. Yep, and it's like a little clay, like a little toy model with the hair, I love it. Clay Hansen. <laughs> All right, we got Electabuzz. <gasps> Poipole with peppermints! You said Poipole. Poipo, I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> Poplio. I know it's Poplio. <laughs> My, I did a tongue tie, and I'm gonna stick with it. And we got a Heatran Hollow. Cool boy, cool boy. 
Man, I, I will never not be jealous of the fact that Japanese common cards feel like our GX cards. Yeah, they're so much better quality. Mm hmm Great for PSA grading. And amazing for run proxies if you're trying to play test a set now. Yep. Yeah, Japanese cards are the best way to go. All right, so we have unit energy back here. Water, grass, and fire. All right. Actually, have they done this particular combination of the three? I believe so. Because I know they've done unit energy with water, grass, and fire. I just don't, I just can't remember they've done this exact combination. I believe it is, yeah. All right. So we got ourselves a... Um, Cascoon. Cascoon. I was going to say the other one. Silcoon. Silcoon. There we go. That is Kahili. What is it again? Uh, Kahili. Kahili. Yep. Draw two, flip a coin of heads. Put this Kahili back into your hand instead of discarding it. I almost called this Kale. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball on the mine. We got a Durant here and a Victini. Victini. I like the boy. I like that boy. I like Victini. If you couldn't tell. All right, come on. That's why. See, when you open up packs like Japanese packs, it's like Dragon Ball. So that's why you've got Dragon Ball in the mind. They open yep. the same way. Pretty much. So we got Ultra Ball, Pinsir, and <laughs> the, this attack here, it's Grip and Squeeze. We get to bring it back. Grip and Squeeze is back, guys. <laughs> we got ourselves a Litten, a Magirna, and a Cobalion Hollow. So what's this Cobalion do? Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Let me scroll up. I hope he's actually decent, because I love Cobalion. Cobalion, guard press, 30 damage. Ta during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage, and uh, Metal yeah. Arms does 80. If the if this Pokemon has a uh, tool card attached to it, it does 40 more. So, eh. Not very good. Sad face. And, of course, Durant earlier also has a mill effect. Mountain Munch of discard course. two from the top of your opponent's deck. Of course. So we got Switch. Um, something Catcher. Custom Catcher. Custom Catcher, there we go. You can play one or two. If you play one, draw cards from your deck until you have three. Or if you play two, choose one of your opponent's benched Pokemon and switch it with their active. Eh, it's not at the worst. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this looks like an old school looking Stunfisk. That is like Pancake Stunfisk at its oldest right there. Oh man, now I want pancakes. Ooh, we got Kecleon. Yes. His ability is interesting. If he has a unit energy attached to specific fire, water, and grass, he becomes those three types. And his attack for a single culture is 10, and if your opponent's an evolved Pokemon, does 50 more. So against an, ev against an evolution Pokemon that's one of those types that it's weak to, you could do 120 for a single. For a single colorless? Yeah. It's, eh, not terrible. Right. It, it could be a cheeky little tech idea. And Dust Tox. That's a cool Pokemon. When you evolve into that, your opponent's Pokemon is paralyzed and poisoned, and the poison does 30 damage in between turns. Ew. I definitely would not want to face that. The bad part is, is you still have to play Wurmple and, and, and Cascoon. And it's a stage shit you have to evolve into. Yes. Oh my gosh, is that a female Pyroar? Oh wow, it is. That's the first time! It's finally here! Yeah, no, I think this is the first female pyro card we've ever gotten. It is. It is the first female pyro. Oh, wow. All right, so we got a Wurmple. <gasps> Kapchu! And a Tapu Bulu Hollow. I don't remember if this one was any good or not. I don't think it was. I don't think so either. I think the Coco in here was like somewhat... Not terrible, but I think that's it as far as the regular attack. Bulu, go. Hustle Punch, 20 damage times the number of your opponent's benched Pokemon, and then a Wild Tackle, 120. Flip a coin of Tails, it does 30 to itself. I mean, if the first attack was a double color, so it wouldn't be bad. Yes. All right, so we have Zeb Striker here. That's pretty interesting. Its ability is once per turn, you can pitch your hand and draw four cards. Tapu Coco, by the way, is not very good either. I, I know, I just figured he'd be better than the Bulu. He's not. Oh, really? Nope. So we have Onyx here for four colorless energy does 120 damage. <laughs> okay. We Sightseer. Got... Oh, I thought this was called Tourist. Nope. This is Sightseer. Uh, draw cards from hand from your deck until you have five in your hand. Before drawing, you may discard any number of cards from your hand. Eh, so it's not terrible. We got ourselves a... Blitzel. Blitzel. I almost said Buzzle. <laughs> and we have a Bear Tick. So that's the first time we've seen Bear Tick on all fours. Usually Bear Tick is standing up. Yeah, standing up ready to punch you. Yeah, he actually looks like a bear now. Come on, we've gotten hollows after hollows. 
I want GXs here. So we got Judge coming back. We have a low and Diglett. We have Ba Bruxish. Bruxish. Medicinal herb. Medicinal herb, what? I'm calling it medicinal herb. Let me see if I can find it again. Uh that one is Mix Herb. That's not Mix Herb, is it? Oh yeah, it is Mix Herb. Never mind. And Ditto Prism Star. Who's about to get? Who's about to engage in a good old rousing bit of fisticuffs? Yep, <laughs> with no attacks. No attacks. You can just transform into. Uh, I think he, does he transform into anything, or does he just evolve? You can evolve anything from him. Yeah. So yeah, any like stage one you have, or a rare cannon stage two, you can just place on top of his ditto. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah. During your turn, you may play a stage one evolution oh, card. Oh, so you can't do the rare candy. You can't do the rare candy from your hand onto this Pokemon and evolve it. But you can't do it on the first turn or the first turn it comes into play. Gotcha. I mean, it's still good. It's It essentially gives you five copies of the basic right. that you want to evolve into. So it can help with consistency with evolution decks, honestly. It can, but eh. it's hard to say. Maybe, maybe something in, in a meta where your Pokemon that you want to start with is weak to something, this would be good, maybe. But obviously fighting is really strong right now, right. so Ditto's not a good choice. But no, like I said, it just gives you the consistency of starting with a Pokemon to evolve into. Yeah, a fifth copy. So I do like that. So we have Super Scoop Up, Skidoo, Magearna, Lectabuzz, and Moltres. I love Hollow Moltres. Nope. Sad face. I really wish that Moltres would have been a Hollow. It would have been pretty. The fire Chicken is nerfed. And where are my GXs? Hey, you don't have anything yet. No. So we got Shuckle. 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 Its ability, you can search your deck for up to three basic energy and discard them. Up to three. Yep. So it's battle compressor for en for energies. Basic. Poplio. We got Go Goat. Pachi Brisu. And the lovely. Seriously? Am I being serious right now? Are you? Am I? I think you are. Pre Marina. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> its ability is Harmonics. When you attach an energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, you may attach up to two energy instead, but it doesn't work if it's done with an effect of an attack, an ability, other than Harmonics or a trainer. Yep. What he said. It's like Alpha Growth. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. I could definitely help out the Primarina GX deck. Yes. You could have one copy of that out and then uh, power up your Primarina GX that way. Yep, get water energy out faster along with Aqua Patch. Oh, there's something in this one. Hollow. Maybe. So we have Pokemon Catcher. Old school. Kale. Kahili. Kahiliel. So we have Cascoon. Yes. Durant. And a Sweet. So I told you, Hollow. Suicune Hollow. Hollow, yes. All right, so Suicune has an ability as well. Suicune, Frozen Current, once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active, you may have your opponent switch their active with one of their bench, but they get to choose. Eh. It looks very nice, though. Yeah, Suicune never gets the full power it deserves. Nope. So we got Energy Switch, Litten, Brione, Warpo. You say Litten. You said Litten. That's Litleo. Litleo. <laughs> I think I said Litten the last time, too. You may have. I don't know. I didn't catch it. Wurmple and Steelix. Wow. Three packs left and no GX. No GX. You got all the hollows. Man, does your site have all the GX? I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm about to destroy you. Pretty much. So we have a choice band. Low and Duke Trio. Kepchu. Skidoo. And it's another <laughs> hollow. <laughs> you get all the hollows and I'm going to get all the ultras. Well, at least I got the prism. <laughs> you did get a prism, yeah. I think, actually, I think Japanese boxes only come with one prism. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Pretty sure. Our boxes just have a lot more prisms. Three, two, three, sometimes even four. Yeah, we also have a lot more cards in our boxes. Yep. So we got Lapras, Kecleon, Custom Catcher. We have Pancake and a Dust Tox. Uh-oh, last pack. Uh, really? You're really gonna give me nothing but hollows here. We'll see. This is your last chance. Six hollows. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, ah, spoilers! Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. So we got Ultra Ball, Pyroar, 
Grip it, squeeze, Sightseer, and Zerora. All right, we got the mascot out of set at least. All right, so Zerora's ability. Zerora, there we go. Sorry. Yes, Zerora's ability says each of your opponent, each of your Pokemon that has any lightning energy attached to it has no retreat cost. It's got two attacks: Plasma Fist, 160, and this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. And then its GX attack is full voltage GX. Attach five basic energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. Doesn't seem like much, but with all the lightning support, this is actually going to be really powerful. Yes. All right. And so. not to mention the um, can attack during your next turn is very easily work with, with Darnwing's Necrozma. Yes, that is also true. So that's, that's not even really much of an issue, if at all. All right. So now let's get to the more OP side of the box. Apparently! The left side of the box. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe. I shouldn't get any hollows if that's the case. Or maybe one at the most. And you got. Watch you get all the GXs and the full art, and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> all right, so we've got the Unit Energy Grass Fire Water. We've got Sightseer, Go Goat, Pachirisu, Genesect! GX. Oh, come on. <laughs> to start it off, double cassette is the ability you can attach uh, two tool cards to this Pokemon, which is kind of interesting. There's a lot of things you can do with it, especially since it's metal type. You've got access to a lot of really interesting tool cards. There's one that actually takes the colorless and a requirement away from a Pokemon it's attached to, and then you've also got your Brock's drying pan as well if you want to use that, yeah. or choice band or anything really. You can do so much with it. You can just stack two, yeah, stack two choice bands on it. Stack two fighting fury belts, a fighting fury and a choice band. You could do that. That is true. All right, so we've got Pokemon Catcher, Alolan Diglett, Kecleon, Grip and Squeeze, and Victini. Wow, I'm surprised these packs are not giving me as much of a problem so far. Now that I said that, I'm sure they will, but... Energy Switch, Kahili, Alolan Hansen, Pyroar, and another Suicune Hollow. So I guess I do get a Hollow. Matter of fact, I'm gonna set mine there just to keep them separate. Ah, uh, see, I told you. I told you it was gonna do it. Oh boy. I was asking too much. All right, so we have a Lapras. We've got our Pancake, Magirna, Poplio, and a Steelix. See, it's just like a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. All right, we got Judge, Electabuzz, Durant, we got Litleo and a Cobalion Hollow. Uh, what, what, what's with the Hollows? I feel like we're getting too many. I mean, usually booster boxes are a half and half split. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten already. Hmm. Got an Ultra Ball, Blitzel, uh, Mixerb, Wurmple, and a Full Art Judge! Oh, yeah! yeah. That's the full art I wanted! I love the way this full art judge looks. It looks really nice. Very crisp and clear. And this very is awesome. Dorky. I don't. Whatever. I don't care. I like it. It looks nice. We're gonna grade that one. Nice! Alright, so that's our secret rare for the box. I'm pretty sure we don't get a shot at another one. But still. Not too bad. Alright, so we've got. Shuckle, Slugma, Bruxish, Sightseer, and Verizian GX. Nice. I always like Verizian as a Pokemon. All right, so we have Switch, Cascoon, Brion, Alolan D uh, Diglett, and we've got Beartick for our final card out of that pack. Uh. Unit Energy, Grass, Water, Fire, Slugma, Blitzel, Wurmple, and Electivire. We haven't seen a Zipstrike yet, have we? Nope. Wait. Zipstrike, uh, I think I did get one. Did you? We didn't even talk about it. It was pretty good. No, I, I talked. I meant Switch, Bruxish, Alolan, Diglett, Onyx, and White Kiram as a hollow. Are you sure? Because I would have remembered talking about that, I wouldn't think. I, I mentioned it. Check my pal. I, I, I will. Or at least hand me my pile, and I can show you. Yeah, good idea. Because I'm pretty sure we didn't get Zeb Strike. We got Blitzel, I know. I got Blitzel. Okay. So, first card we have here is Electric Power, Mixerb, Litleo, 
Pachi Risu, yeah, and a bear tick. You did. We didn't. I mentioned it. I mentioned that it was pretty good. We didn't talk about what it does though, did we? Yeah, I did. I don't remember that. Pitch your hand, draw four. Oh. All right. Well, I was sitting right here, and I don't even remember. We got a uh, double colorless energy. Cub Chew, Kahili, Durant, and another Heatran Hollow. This box is loaded with Hollows. Oh my goodness. So we've got one, two, three GXs, a Secret Rare, and a Prism. That might actually be it. We might get one more GX if we're lucky. All right. Nice. So this card is the first time we're seeing this. This is Counter Gain. Counter Gain says, as long as you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the attacks of this Poke a Pokemon this card is attached to cost one colorless energy less. This is what I was talking about, which you could use with Genesect to reduce that energy cost down to two metal energy instead of two metal and a colorless. Cascoon, Poplio, Slugma, and Moltres. Two packs to go. I'm just having to annihilate these packs for the sake of getting it done. <laughs> There's a Zeb Striker again. You already talked about what that does, though. Pitch and draw four. Magirna. Very good. Pancake. Uh, this one, what the heck was the name of this thing again? Custom Catcher. Custom Catcher. And Tapu Coco. So this has Strafe, which does 30 and goes to the bench. And then this one just does 120 and it can't attack next turn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's at least slightly better than the Boo. I don't really think it is. I it's not another thing. Like, you just play Venusaur with it, and it's a single grass to do that. Yeah, you could do that too, I suppose. Yeah. So yeah, I guess the Bulu is better than I didn't even just a little bit. Before. Super scoop up. Oh yeah, this is the last pack, by the way. Skidoo, Pyroar, Brion, and Primo Arena. Name I totally remembered before. Yeah, you totally remembered it. Totally did. So my part of the box had all the GXs except for Zero Aura, and I had five hollows on top of that so four five six seven eight hits on my side of the box and only seven on yours and obviously the rarity of mine is far more superior yeah yeah rub it in when <laughs> one two three four four six seven eight nine ten well, eleven I got the 12, prism. 15. 15 hits that just seems that just seems odd i don't think there's 30 packs in this box is there maybe there is i don't remember i don't remember japanese I always, I always box got ratios the mascot <laughs> yeah, the fisticuffs ditto. So we got for hollows, we got uh, Dialga, Suicune, there's our prism star, by the way, of ditto. Tapu Bulu, Cobalion, Heatran, Cobalion, Suicune, White Kiram, another Heatran, Tapu Coco, and for GXs we have Genesect, Verizian, Zera Aura, and our secret rare slash full art, Judge. Very, very nice. So overall, I'd say it's a pretty decent box. I mean, we did get uh, what we were looking for for the most part out of it. So, can't complain about that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's Japanese Booster Box opening of Thunderclap Spark. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below. Where's the thunder? There's, well, it, it is actually raining outside. There's been a lot of thunder today here, ah. but it's Florida, so that's to be expected. There's thunder on my clap. No, it is not. So anyways, guys, make sure you check out mecha-pokemon.com to pick up one of these for yourself. Use the promo code down below. Save yourself some money. And we will see you guys in the next one. You guys take care. Have a great day. See you next time. Thunderclap.